Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and I'm a little bit of a Crash Bandicoot collector. Uh, if you can't see in the back, I'll just pop up a picture right here. I have a small shrine dedicated to Crash. I, I just liked him my whole life. And uh, now we're talking about more Crash collectibles. Now, typically I don't really collect pops or anything. Like I, I see the appeal for them, and I see the variety they have. They are pretty cool, but I, I collect the Crash ones because it's a line of crash figures i can collect i have like one or two pops outside of crash bandicoot but besides that i'm i wouldn't consider myself a pop collector but because there's a new crash pop of course i gotta get it now the crash pop line is a, a little big uh they have different varieties of just crash by himself they have different costumes and other characters and the last crash pop they made was a funk con virtual convention exclusive of crash 4 in one of his mask suits but because it was a virtual thing you couldn't go to the actual convention and get it thank god because uh, i can't go to a convention for a crash pop uh they end up making that pop walmart exclusive uh so i have that thankfully uh, but now they're coming out with another one that's more of a Funko Fair exclusive that was supposed to be a thing. But that instead of doing it there, they're going to make it exclusive to GameStop. Now, instead of me just talking about what it is, how about I just show you what it looks like? Because it's YouTube. You want to see things. Okay, so this is what this bad boy looks like. So you get the standard size pop, but it has that gimmick of like having the game cover on the back. Which is really neat. I actually really like this. So... It has me curious, since it has the cover of the first game, are we going to get two more based on the other games? That'd be really sick. I really hope we can get that. But this is not the first time we've seen something like this. Here, Sonic also did something very similar. And I always loved the idea of this, but I never got it. And now that there's a Crash one out, I want this. And now that the, the Crash one's out, I want the Sonic one. But I don't know about you, but I don't want to pay $45 for a, for a Sonic Pop. I'll let someone else do that for me for my birthday or Christmas or something. Now, this is going to be uh, a GameStop slash EB Games exclusive. So if you're in the Canadian lands, uh, go to EB Games and just look up Crash Pop. You should be able to find it. I'll have a link in the description for the GameStop listing, which would be right here. If I find the EB Games one, I'll throw that in as well for the Canadian folks. But it's going to be $14.99. I'm not sure how much it's going to be in the Canadians. Uh, but after tax and shipping, it cost me like 20 bucks, which, of course, I pre-ordered this thing. I got to have it. Oh, apparently it is talking about the 25th anniversary. Oh, boy, Nelly. Now, normally when I do news videos like this, I'm like, oh, I'll do a review on it when I get it. But it's a pop. There's not really much you can review about a pop. But something that I can do, uh, when this thing comes out, which, by the way, it is slightly after my birthday, um, when this comes out, I'll actually do a video showcasing all my Crash Bandicoot pops. I've done a video in the past showing off my whole Crash Bandicoot collection, and even then, that's outdated now. But I think doing a video of just my Crash Pop collection would be pretty cool. Doing the Crash Bandicoot whole collection was so intimidating, I don't want to attempt anything like that ever again, but uh, I like small projects. So Crash Pop Collection, that's fine, I'll do that. And because they have like pop vinyls like this, they also have a series of figures called U2s, which that was m mainly focused on Crash 4, which I do have that collection. But they have announced this forever ago, and well, I don't know why they call it Meme Crash, whatever, but I'm still waiting for this to come out like like apparently this is like a, a thing i don't know like u2's alerts it's not like actually like from u2's itself i'm still waiting for this thing to be shown off i don't know where it is but when that comes out i'll, I'll get that too and i'll i'm not gonna do a review on it but i'll showcase it i guess but that's all I got to say for this. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, how much do you like Pops? How much do you like Crash Bandicoot? How much do you like Crash Bandicoot Pops? And that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, it's very short, and it's also getting dark in here for some reason. Screw the sun. If you're new and you like what you saw, you know what to do. In the description, there's going to be my social media. Um, uh, let me know in the comments. Do you want to see a video of my Crash Bandicoot Pops? Because... That's an option. But I want to thank you guys so much for all the support you've been giving me lately. Like, 
the hint into 10k is fantastic and we're still slowly growing from there my goal on youtube is to one day do this mostly full-time but still do my job part-time because i do love my job and i love the community that like we've been creating when it comes to this whole figure collecting thing but anyway thank you for watching i love you guys so much and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one so uh peace peace